which 3D app is right for me? If your foregrounds and backgrounds are 100% 3D and final outputs are more or less completed in your 3D app, then you might choose Blender. For example, you create artistic simulations of orbital launches for an aerospace startup. Another Blender use case might be for the pure special effects artist who wants code level control over geometry and simulations. But then again, Houdini is a leading VFX alternative. If you spend most of your time modeling, you might be familiar with ZBrush. It's a great option, but many users are now frustrated by Maxon's new pricing tiers. Not only is Blender free, it has an excellent sculpting, modeling, and scribbling workflow. You can even sculpt with pressure-sensitive tablets. Additionally, Blender has the most feature parity with Lightwave and shares many similar concepts, such as four viewport mode. There's overlap with many of the mesh deformation tools, and it has a similar timeline with a more robust keyframe interface. If you spend half your time compositing in After Effects and the other half in 3D, you may want to pick Cinema 4D, since it has native AE integration, but it comes with a price tag. C4D is great if you do a lot of motion graphics, but not a lot of intricate modeling and complex animation. If you work with game devs or output FBX animations for use in augmented reality, you might go with Blender or maybe a combo of Maya, ZBrush, or C4D. Of course, get familiar with Unity 3D or the Unreal Engine. It's also great to learn Snapchat's Lens Studio or Meta's Spark AR tool if you want to make social media filters. There's some cool new augmented reality and real-time tools in Blender now. Coupled with the Cycles in Viewport Ray Traced Renderer, you're cooking with fire, if you can find a badass GPU. Aspiring to animate Hollywood-style 3D character animations? You might choose Maya. Maya commands a very large share of the feature-length narrative market, but I have a feeling that Blender's fast product evolution and wide adoption by the young skewing open source community will make it a future contender in Hollywood. These are all maybes and possible false positives. And now, an open letter to visit about Lightwave. I'm telling you, Lightwave 3D is no day yet! Leugnen Sie die Untergang von der Lightwave? 2091 kaufte die Firma Wizard neues Deck. Alle ursprünglichen software engineer von Lightwave sind gegangen. Wenn Sie Lightwave googeln, geht es in der neuesten Pressmitteilung darum, neue Verkäufer und Russlands zu finden. Ganz zu schweigen davon, dass Wizard eine keine public feature roadmap policy hat. Oh, yeah. well, I don't like this pessimist attitude. Wenn ich Sie Wizard wäre, würde ich Lightwave open source machen. Modernisieren Sie Benutzerforum zu einem stark Exchange und erstellen Sie dort einen Lightwave Plugin Marketplatz. Oh, you are most boring tutorial person I ever Watch! Well, sonny boy, no app is the end-all be-all. It's the person behind the tool that makes the magic.